Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here at Papa World headquarters just outside Pittsburgh to play World Poker Tour, a game nominated by the backers of Pinball Patreon. Uh, definitely a complicated game with deep rule sets, a Steve Ritchie play field with 16 drop targets, two ramps, some holes, some cards and bars and mysteries and all sorts of good things to do to do here. But uh, we'll boil that down to a basic strategy that will succeed for you in competitive play, as well as try to show some of the levels of depth that which this game goes from the uh, rule set of Keith Johnson. Hi, Mike Sexton. Hi, Mike Sexton. I'm Bowen, but I don't want to listen to you really, so let's just go. I got pocket nines, but also I've got a ball on the upper play field, and that means that I can shoot these bars. The upper play field main objective is those bars. Putting a ball through the bars locks it for ace in the hole multi ball. And the way you start ace in the hole multi ball is then by releasing that ball through hitting it a few more times. Bowen. Nope, didn't register. One, two more hits. Two more hits. Thanks, Vince. But the reality is that I don't actually want to start that multi ball because it's a loser multi ball. It's 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 worth some points, but it's not actually worth that many points. It is worth uh, a relatively small amount of points compared to what you can do by having a mode running during the multi ball. So what what do you want to do instead here? And I would, I would suggest this for any multi-ball in Poker Tour, is complete a poker hand. Flop, turn, river, like you saw there. You get points, you, you win tournaments, which are one, two, three hands uh, for each. Ooh, Aruba. But more importantly is that, even though I have one more hit to start the multi-ball, I don't want to start it. I want to go down here and start a mode. And the mode I want to start is called Change Gears. Change Gears is just super duper valuable. The right flipper will change the mode and you can pick whatever mode you want. So I'm now starting Change Gears. And what I need to do now is put, put the ball back up to the upper play field, release that captive ball, and then we're gonna see some serious points. Mm, top play field. In change gears, the reason it's worth so much is that uh, it wants you to shoot the upper and the lower play fields together. So having a ball in the upper play field and then a ball in the lower play field is the way of the world when it comes to this. So actually you can kind of keep an eye on even the ball save and make it so that if there's some, if there's still some ball save time, don't, uh, don't use the ball save. Or use the I'm sorry. Or use the ball save specifically to get a, a new ball out. Side pot. Okay. And what we're happening here? First of all, a lot of points are being scored. There's a ton of points in these in these modes. I've just started the all-in multi-ball by shooting the spinner on the right uh, enough times, and there is. A lot going on right now at once, so uh, I'm going to try to do my best to describe what I'm doing. Uh, so first is that I think Change Gears is still going. Second is that I'm picking up jackpots in the all-in multi-ball. Yeah, change gears is still running. Third is that I've lit the locks for the no limit multi ball by, there it is, that's lock three for no limit. Or should be, what happened there? Did it not go in there? All right, there's an extra ball. I guess it didn't. Anyway, that uh, will give me more time. Uh, add a ball and uh, three balls. Oh, ball two locked. I'm sorry. Not ball three. But something's happening because I've got a uh, oh, add a ball. Yeah. High gear. Oh my. So I don't even quite know where all the points are coming from. That's what's really cool about this. Uh, what I'm 
also trying to do here is get my third lock for, there it is. That is the no limit multi-ball. And so now another multi-ball will start. And what effectively you have going on here is the three multi-balls are all running at once. The ace in the hole, now the no limit is also running. And uh, the all-in multi-ball is also still running from before. I think the change gears has run out, but maybe it hasn't. When uh, everything is going on at once, the timer stopped typically. No, it's still running. So I'm still getting one and a half million a shot from all of this other stuff. More balls are going to come out on the upper play field. There's another lock in for the uh, ace in the hole multi ball. Uh, more balls are going to come out, more side pots, more upper play fields, more everything. Now, and again, the, the multi balls themselves are not, they're valuable, but they're not nearly as valuable as the amount of points I'm gonna get from the, uh, the change gears. Which, uh, there's a jackpot during a no limit multi-ball of 1.7 million. So you're like, yeah, whatever, I'm not impressed. And I'm not impressed either. There's 300,000 as an, as a, uh, an additional, um, all right. So there's the end of the multi-ball. And now you go like, okay, well, whew, settle down. Where did we go? Ace in the hole was worth six million. No limit was worth two million. All in was worth three million. None of those were very valuable, but I have 63 million on the board. And most of those points came from playing uh, change gears. So let's maybe back it off a little bit as well as uh, go through these multi-balls in a little more detail. The ace in the hole multi-ball again, you start by getting the ball up on the upper play field from either side, from the left or the right. Backhand of the right ramp is possible on Poker Tour, and it can be very helpful. But you can't play a second, uh, you can't play a second ace in the hole until you start another mode. So let's find a mode that isn't, isn't as valuable, like uh, play the button, and we'll go from there. So I find that uh, play the button is not that valuable. And a couple of the modes are valuable or not valuable. Play the button gives you certain values for the, the, the one flashing shot is gonna be worth a lot and the other shots are worth uh, a much smaller amount depending on where they are. That was a good save. So on the button, 500,000. Who cares? Small potatoes. Uh, so um, play the button turns out to be not that valuable. So what what you get the advantage of choosing play the button and playing a mode first is progress. Second, it lights the uh, it lights the bars again. So now I can open the bars with more hits. I think that the, the bumpers changed where the, the flashing shot is located in this mode. I don't really know it that well. It's just not that valuable. There is a trophy available for making enough of a shot during the modes. Yeah, extra ball, Vince. Thanks, Vince. Cut the cards, give me more time. Yeah, more time. More time to play the button. So during each mode, there is uh, something on the display that will tell you uh, to shoot the shots and then how many there are to win. And winning means winning a trophy. The, the trophies are worth points and bonus and uh, they, they turn into value in some of the wizard modes, but the trophies themselves are otherwise just worth points in and of themselves. Uh, the they're not spades. really that big a deal. A pair of aces. Well, it's nice to get them. If you can get a, if you can get a uh, if you can pick up, if you can pick up a trophy, you might as well. There we go. So let's see, how much was that worth? One million for the play the button trophy. Now one more hit for Ace in the Hole multi-ball. But same thing, I don't want to start that multi-ball. I only want to do it when I can work my way through and have something else going on. 200,000 for that shot, yeah, right, now we're talking. So this is where you just kind of want to say, okay, get out of my way, finish up already. Mode's over, three million, big whoop. Uh, 
and Poker Corner is ready again because I finished a uh, hand of uh, Flop Turn River. Um, one of the things that I haven't talked about at all are the 16 drop targets around the play field. And as you make those drop targets in regular play, you will light these objectives, one pair, two pair, three of a kind, straight, full house, whatever. If you make all of the objectives, all nine objectives, you will start uh, Poker Hands Multiball. So when we go into Ace in the Hole Multiball next, I'm going to concentrate on um, on that. I would normally pick the mode called Know Your Out, so we'll see that again. I'm going to pick a different mode that will allow me to also make uh, Poker Hands, like Spot the Tell or maybe Steal the Blind. Um, but let's get over to where we can start Poker Corner. Yeah, that's right there, left ramp, maybe. Yeah, so left ramp will give me that. What I got? What I got? Oh, ace high! Yeah. Look at this. Cowboy. On the steel horse, I ride. All right, so left flipper again can control your mode. I want to steal the blind. Oh, well, maybe we'll get to see what happens when we finish all the modes. Uh, uh, this is the third mode that we played, steal the blinds. And we get this nice little animation of the little dude stealing blinds. But again, I don't find this one to be that valuable. The big blind, which is the most valuable, is only 500,000. And I compare this to the crazy points that we were making from uh, the Small blind, yeah, take that, 100,000 points, boom. That's big bucks. All right, let's make the right ramp here so we can start acing the hole. Nope. All right, big blind, yeah, baby, 600,000. But now we started acing the hole. During acing the hole, if you can put the ball back in the bars immediately, I thought I had done it, but I guess not. Uh, if you can put the ball back in the bars immediately, you will get a three ball multi ball. So I just drain those on purpose because I'm trying to hit to clear the bars. And you want to kind of do that until you're out of the, uh, until you're out of ball safe. Uh, the other multi balls are still available. And the mode that I was playing, the steal the blind is still available too, but uh, less important. So as you complete poker hands, you'll see the cards lighting up and the cards that will complete hands will light up. So if I shoot the 10 of spades, I'm going to get royal flush. If I shoot the king of diamonds, I'm going to get uh, four of a kind kings. So uh, it looks like shooting the 10 of spades would be the right call here. Missed it, but that's okay. Come on, stop missing it. Boom. And you get uh, points for whatever you finish, but you also get a bonus for skipping levels. So if you, in the case, in this case, because I got Royal and it was above, too above what it was supposed to be, it gave me an extra 200,000 points. I still need a straight flush and a four of a kind. I'm still an ace in the hole multi-ball. But notice again, I'm using ace in the hole multi-ball to complete other objectives. And there are lots of games where this is the way you do it. You don't do what the multi-ball is telling you to. You use the multi-ball to do other stuff, other stuff, especially stuff that would normally have been far too um, uh, far too difficult. Uh, that is a beautiful thing. So yeah, I only got seven hundred fifty thousand in Ace and Hole, but I earned another two million for those two completions of poker hands. I'm one poker hand away from the the multi-ball. Um, uh, if I play another poker corner, I can do Ace in the Hole again. I'm probably pretty close to all in multi-ball. Um, so one possibility here would be to keep shooting the spinner now, get towards all in, and then use the all in to finish the poker hands. But why don't I just finish this poker hand altogether? We'll play a poker corner again. Second tournament, two million. Or is that the third tournament? I don't actually know. I think that might be the third tournament. Yeah, that's three tournaments. Okay, so um, Poker Corner is ready. I can choose again to pick something that isn't worth that worth that much. Know Your Outs is the best one. I'm gonna choose Spot the Tell here because I still wanna complete that, um, that last Poker Hand, the four of a kind. Um, 
I'm not completely certain what to do here, but I think that going for the all-in multi-ball would be a decent objective. And also because of now started poker corner. Oh, I, I picked know your outs. Um, that's unfortunate. Know your outs is another very good one to run with a multi-ball. So 16 drop targets are lit. The more you hit, the better you get. And I'm not going to get anywhere near finishing all these targets. I can try though. Because this is the mode where you actually learn from the dot matrix display that jack four is the best of all poker hands. It never loses under any circumstances, especially when there's suited clubs. However, your mileage may vary. That may only be true for me or the other people who were responsible for this game. How are we doing on time? I'm running out of time, I know you're out, and I'm not gonna win the trophy. Yeah, it's over. But it would Two million, but it's possible to get like 15 million out of that. If you can make all, all 16 targets, they reset and you can get more out of it. Um, by playing a poker corner, I requalified the ace in the hole. Might be good to talk about tip tricks too while we have you here, but uh, I'll get that in a moment. Let's go up the right ramp and uh, relight the ace in the hole. Two. Eight, two, two. Oh, flop the full house. All right, so the way this works with the uh, the, the pot, and I've, I've gotten this question a couple times, what happens now? Well, first, you're gonna get some multiplier. Ah, there it goes. That was a good ball one. <laughs> Um, hold them hands, cities, trophies, 10x, so good bonus. There generally isn't a lot of bonus on this game, so that was a good bonus, more than you usually see. Uh, the way that uh, the poker hand works is you get paid a multiplier based on the quality of your hand. So if it's one pair, you get you just get the pot. If it's two pair, you get double the pot. You can kind of look at the, the information that's on the display in the middle to see what the multiplier will be. So a full house is a 6x multiplier of the pot. And the pot itself is going to be awarded to you times whatever the, um, the, the pot from shooting spinners is. So shooting a spinner right now, and I'm not going to improve, I'm just, I've already got a full house. Oh my. So, yeah, like, there's nothing really special here about the bars. The bars never, the bars do get more difficult. Um, and right now I could plunge and take my full house. I want to talk to you about the 3X, which is on the inlays. If you played Walking Dead, you've seen a version of this with an X. This is a triple score 3X that you earn from uh, completing center poker hands. So by not choosing advanced hold I'm gonna give myself a chance to give my to, to pay it at triple value instead. Well let's choose skill flip and skill flip is to, to shoot the, the far left lane immediately. And that did not pay off. Uh, instead I'm working my way towards the one hit to and let's go let's triple it up. Nope missed it. you can get the 3x lit again, uh, I blew it. But however, if I shoot a spinner here, the spinner will increase the value of the pot instead. So let's shoot the left spinner. And whatever value that was, that increased by like two or three hundred thousand times six. So that shot was worth about a million and a half. Another million and a half. Another million and a half. And you can go like, okay, if I get to a million here, I get multi-ball. Yes, that is true. And it'll pay off. So if I shoot the ramp now, it'll finish me at 960. If I shoot the spinner, it gives me a million times six. It gives me multi-ball. And notice I'm not playing this with a perfect corner, so I'm really just going to focus on what these, what these multi-balls are capable of doing. I'm going to try to use this to finish the four of a kind of kings for the uh, 
for the Poker Hands Multi Ball. So on Poker Hands Multi Ball, the objective is to complete the Poker Hands again. You can see like different things flashing at you here. The objective, I think, in uh, Poker Hands Multi Ball is to complete all 16 shots. I don't know. I honestly don't know. What does it say? You can read the display. Tell me what. Tell me what's going on, please. <laughs> I rarely play this, um, and I I rarely get to this part. It's almost out of time. What's what am I out of time about? Oh, jackpot of some sort. Side pot. Oh, it looks like. Uh, you're supposed to finish the... Oh, that's cool. Alright, so... So completing the banks of targets gives you jackpot, or double jack, or triple jack. Ah, that's over. Alright, and then I guess working your way through all the way would give you uh, some benefit. Uh, so you don't really get a lot out of those multi-balls. And Poker Hands multi-ball uh, I know I definitely didn't play that as well as I could have, so I apologize for that. But we are moving through the different poker hands. Um, we are moving through the, the cities. And pair. Pair. Okay. Let's go triple that. Yeah, take that. Ooh, that was cool. All right, this will start Poker Corner for Chip in the Chair. And Chip in the Chair is another one of these where you want to hit all of the targets. So I'm going to try to start No Limit Multi Ball to fish into this. I've got two locks for No Limit. I'm going to hit this, this target, spot target on the left, and then try to use the spot target to... Um, to start the Multi Ball. You notice there that uh, the target just kind of reset. Ah, I should have been able to save that. Unfortunately, that's the end of that. Chip in a chair won't be running with no limit multi ball, um, but you get the idea of how that link up would have would have been effective. Um, and just to give you a sense of where we are, this is this would be this would be ball three, I think, at this point for a for a. Uh, a tournament game. We put the extra balls on to try and maybe get to some of the the wizard modes that you might not otherwise see. Uh, I'm going to try to get to the wizard mode for the modes here. I doubt I'll get to the wizard mode for the cities just because it's such a slog. It's four hands to complete LA, then five, then six. So I have quite a bit of uh, ramp shooting to do if I'm going to get that. It is possible, but it's not very likely. There's the turn. There's the turn. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to get my flush draw. And we should maybe talk about Kiefer Invitational also. Although uh, that's really not on the table for almost any reasonable strategy situation. That was a bad shot. That was a mistake. And the reason that was a mistake is now I've started multi-ball, no limit multi-ball, with nothing else going on. And although the no limit multi-ball is interesting in, in, by itself, uh, uh, there, there isn't value in it. And furthermore, if I manage to start the ace in the hole here by ba banging on that ball, it'll be worse. Uh, I don't want that. Oh, is that it? Really? Did that just happen? Oh my god, that was deadly. That was awful. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, that was brutally bad. Um, what was supposed to happen there is you're supposed to uh, hit any of the drop target banks down to light the jackpot on the left ramp. Um, fortunately for me, it's uh, not worth very much anyway, so I'm not that, that nervous that I didn't get it. But there's the three ball score of uh, roughly 130, I think. I don't know. And uh, how are we doing here? We are... Ooh, a four tray offsuit. That's not good. One more hit for, okay, for the ace in the hole. And let's do spot the tell, which is the last of the six poker corners. We'll then 
try to put that up there. So spot the tail is kind of cool. If you're in single ball play, uh, you're gonna just look at the display and these are all uh, employees of Stern Pinball. Um, Lyman on the left and uh, Keith Johnson, I'm sorry, Gary Stern, Keith Johnson, and there's Dwight looking, uh, looking like he's got Patel. So each one of them is a shot. No tell. No tell, no tell, Lyman. Well, there it is, Dwight. Oh, man, how did you know? How did you know? That's right, Dwight. I got you. Okay, let's see if we can start the safe in the whole multi ball off right. There we go. That's when you, when you hear the, the, the guy say at the beginning, he's going to have to do it the hard way. That's what they're talking about. The easy way is to put it back in there immediately. The downside of playing spot the tell with, uh, with this is that you can't really see anything. So you don't know who it is. You just know that... Uh, how we do? Tell spotted. Take that, Lyman. Got you. The upside is that because you've got multiple balls in play, you're way more likely to, to catch something and get it right. I didn't see what it said about the uh, number of hands remaining. It's like pot. Yeah, that's Lonnie. Oh, and I finished the LA tournament, so that's uh. Couture, you can see all the tells at the very end, it's kind of cool. Side pot! All right. So where are we here? We are an ace in the hole multi-ball, and I'll say shoot ramps. And these are, again, small potatoes points for the ramps. How much was that? 525,000. Enough shots open the bars. So you can you can open the bars by uh, shooting the bars, but you can also open the bars by shooting ramps or loops. Um, sorry, ramps. The loops are lit for side pots, which is a different award. Uh, this is an opportunity that I wanted to talk to you about, which is that if you have two balls trapped on the left flipper, there are opportunities on multiple machines to uh, dink one of the balls off and hit a target. This is one of the one of the, the more more common ones, which is that I can dink this ball and hit the lock. Sometimes. <laughs> but let me try and see if I can get that get that situation again. Shoot the left ramp. Left ramp will feed me a ball. Oh, that was that was Did I really do that? Yeah, that's just a dead bounce into the flipper that's down. It's a brilliant, brilliant move. Um, whatever. We've got a flush on the board, so going for a, going for a uh, high value on on the um, the all in multi ball might be the way to go, but I also have poker corner lit for the seventh poker corner. And the seventh poker corner is. Poker Wizard! Three trophies. So this is where the trophies become valuable. Shooting drops like jackpots, and this is a multi ball. So. So the multi-ball is, I would say the general behavior of this multi-ball is somewhat similar to um, No Limit multi-ball. So you pretty much have to make them all, I think. Unless, some, unless other shots are the jackpots right now. Oh yeah, just... Side pot! Side pot. That's good lord. Let's get some control here so we know what, what the heck we're doing. All right, so waiting for this ball to come down so I can try to find out what the heck is going on here. Okay, ah, it's over. Yay. So mostly you got to see me flail around and not know the rules for another wizard mode. Hooray. There's all in. And I all in with a flush, so it was five times the fun. 
uh, and I got six over six million for that shot. If I had used the inlane 3x to make that same shot, it would have been triple that, 18 million shots. So there's some heavy value in making good choices about when you use those 3x, like triple jackpot. All right, where are we here? Let's. I think that in all in, all in multi-ball, I'm not completely sure whether you can get more poker hands during this than you would otherwise. I know that you can get the, the poker hands from the center. Side pot. Side pot. Yeah, I apologize for kind of not knowing all of these these rules depth, and hopefully some of you can uh, some of you really know the game well. Uh, I know there's at least one one person who knows the game well. His name is Keith Johnson. <laughs> That's. I'm gonna just try for a couple more locks for the ace in the hole, not ace in the hole for the no limit multi ball. See if I can get back towards that again. Oh! Over the hole. Way to go. All right, so 4.6 million out of all in. Uh, got some decent points out of the uh, Poker Wizard, but really could have been better. Um, and let's go up top. Ooh, that's a good flop. I think uh, what I have left to do here is to try and uh, continue making Hold'em hands to finish the cities and get to the WPT championship. But also in the status report, if you want just sort of a hilarious look at how far away I am from succeeding in this game, uh, you can look back through and see just how far away I am from the true wizard mode called um, Kiefer Invitational. So. The last few screens say qualified. So 33 side pots, zero hurry ups. I need um, more points out of ace in the hole multi ball. I need a ton more points out of no limit multi ball. I need, uh, I got enough points out of, uh, out of the pots. Um, I have no hurry ups, I need 25 million points in hurry ups and 20, and I think 50 million points in modes. Uh, so it's, and then I have to win the, uh, the world, the world the WPT championship. So it's, um, the it's something I, I'm sure someone has done uh, and maybe it's been done by, uh, someone ever, but I've never done it. I've never even come anywhere near it. The hurry ups, we're talking about those hurry ups. Like the hurry up that I just got 900,000 on, I have to earn uh, 25 million in total hurry ups. Uh, yeah, so let's go back and do what I'm comfortable with, which is uh, trying to start uh, change gears and multiple three more times. I have to win that to uh, get that. Wow, so nine more ramps. We'll finish this city of Paris, and then there's another city after that. Uh, <laughs> I think the only other thing to really show you that I haven't shown you yet is uh, called Super Trick, um, which is a mode you get for comboing each shot. All right, one more hit for that. Let's let that go. Let's bring it down here. Let's finish this on a 3x. Nope. Boom. Victory lap. Ba boom. Ba boom. All right. Change gears with the ace in the hole multi ball. Will be another opportunity to earn some points. Not that, I, not that I don't have enough points. Jeez Louise. I can't remember. This may be my best ever score on Poker Tour at this point. It's certainly closing in on it, if not. No oh God, I did that to myself. All right, so right flipper changes to switches to change gears. There we go. And this will start change gears. Multi-ball at ace in the hole is ready. Uh, and then once ace in the hole begins, I can work on no limit or all in to try and continue that roll. So I entered this at 200 million, just remember that. 201 million, sorry. 
Okay, good ramp shot there. That was an important ramp shot in order to get uh, this this quickly through. Boom. I'm a cowboy. I'm a steel horse. My points will ride. Okay, notice there, I'm, I, my choices are to go for that spinner because the spinner is sending me towards uh, towards all in multi ball. Okay, and that's fine, that was just a bailout, but uh, I would have liked to have Locklet here. Oh, bad break there. A blow gear, like that, 2.6 million? 2.8 million? Are you serious? Are you serious with this? Add a ball though, boom. All right, what did I start this mode, what did I start this mode at? 201 you said? Yeah, yeah, that's right, 201. Back in the hole. Oh, get in your hole. Oh, get in your ace in the hole hole. I did something here to make the the, the shots doubled, but I don't really know what it was. Maybe because I had already earned the trophy and I was back around? I don't know. Poker hands multi ball. That was uh, convenient. Okay, and I think that uh, change gears is still going. Side pot. So how did change gears go here? Change gears went. Uh, yeah, it is almost out of time. Oh, there. Oh, the almost out of time is referring to the. Uh, the ramp shots. Holy smokes. So how did uh, how did we do? We got 263. So I find that when you get uh, a good change gears multi ball going, that's about what happens. You get somewhere in the range of 30 to 60 million just from that. And so getting around to being able to do a second change gears is really uh, the, the greater value in uh, getting to play that uh, poker wizard. Nope, oh, almost got that through. <laughs> All right, uh, what else is there to show? Oh, super trick. Um, so anytime you make a combo to a shot, it's going to light up chip trick in front of that shot. So the the objective there is to make a chip trick on all five shots. What, what that says to me is that I've, I haven't made any, oh, four of a kind. Damn, quads. I haven't made a, a combo into the right loop in the entire game. So let's try to fix that. Maybe we won't be able to, but we'll try. Chip trick, uh, you get all the chip tricks, and you qualify what's called uh, super trick. Oh, come on. All right, and meanwhile, we are pretty close to finishing Paris, I think, as well. This might be the end of Paris. That was not a great hand. Don't tell me that was a great hand. That was a terrible hand. That's the end. Um, hopefully this made sense in some way. Uh, it's uh, definitely a very deep game um, yeah, to the point where I, I honestly still do not know many of the rules, uh, unfortunately. So uh, if you have questions or you have uh, advice on uh, what happened here, let us know in the comments and appreciate uh, watching. If you stayed for this whole thing, hopefully I didn't run out of things to say. <laughs> but I pretty much did. Thanks for watching.